Sagittarius, hi. So um, this is going to be a reading for March 29th through April 5th. And I'll take a look at your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with uh, a couple of cards from the universe for you. For you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. And let's see, Saggy. Okay, the overall energy for the reading, the death card. Um, uh, this energy of an ending wants to come in, and it does come in, and it's something that you may be experiencing. Usually, we need to experience certain things. Um, that doesn't mean that these endings are forever and ever and ever. Uh, in this case, I don't see it that way. I see that you do have to experience it. I see that you do have to uh, get to that place of really believing that something is ending so that you go through your own lessons through that and your own learning through that. Um, something is shown up as coming to an end, uh, basically for now. Um, in the recent past, Seven of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. A choice here on your part um, to work hard towards gaining your independence, your own stability, you know, creating your own life, developing that own sense of I got this kind of thing, or putting up with something that seems to have been pretty hard which I don't know what that is quite yet. We'll have to clarify and see. Um, in the current situation, the star, the queen of cups, the world. <laughs> uh, something in regards to your emotions uh, towards somebody else may come to an end in terms of you may have been fixated on it has to happen with this person it has to be them i only love them this love is not for anybody else just for them and that's it you know kind of thing almost like in a stubborn kind of way even though that doesn't necessarily portray to you as a as a sign but it comes in with mm, it's got to be that way um With the world card being here, that's telling me that this fixation or obsession or whatever it is that this was, is kind of going away. You're kind of coming out of that, you know, not kind of letting yourself loose, you know, to to give that love in someplace else rather than keeping it stuck on a situation. Um, in the immediate future, you get the moon, the page of swords, the seven of pentacles. Okay. You're kind of coming back to the situation in terms of you're still kind of peeking at it like hmm, maybe this could work you know kind of thing uh i feel like this is more like a secret like you're not really telling your friends you're it's one of those situations where you keep kind of returning to the same thing and you're like well they'll think i'm, I'm nuts if i tell them that i'm thinking about this again or that um okay yeah, but if you have family, friends that love you, that support you, that let you be you, so what if they think that? You know, at the end of the day, they still know who you are. Um, but it's like almost hiding how you feel or what your plans are or what your intentions are. And I mean, really up to you. I wouldn't do it. Even if my family said you're nuts, I would be like, yeah. So what's new? You know, um, it's something that I believe in or you. And if they don't agree, their business, you know, kind of thing. But I see you kind of coming back at this and in, in your own little shame, you're kind of keeping it a secret because you're scared that you're going to be judged for what you're feeling. Um, let's do the death card. Let's clarify. 
Seven of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Ace of Cups. Yeah, you do still want for something to happen here, even though there was a lot of pain, even though, yes, you put in a lot of effort, and then you got hurt at the end, and then this, that, and the other, and the whole shebang of, oh my god, I got disappointed, and I got hurt. Um, through all of this, and even though it looks like, yes, there's an ending to it all, uh, you still want for something beautiful to come out of this. Um... You're tall. Did anyone ever tell you that? You're tall. You don't look as tall when you have all your hair with you. Um, let's see here. Let me see that Seven of Cups there in the recent past. King of Wands, Page of Cups, Four of Swords. I feel like, you know, you may have gone out with people. You may have... Th this is a, a an energy of you just going out there and having fun and just, you know... Not not getting yourself into anything too serious, too committing to any of that. Uh, you gave yourself in certain situations more than others. But I feel like there was a time and a place for you to heal. You were like, okay, enough of me goofing around left and right. I need to stop this. I need to take a step back and look at myself here a little closer. A little close up here on myself. Because I see a, a need to create that sense of confidence, independence, freedom, you know. Um, let's do the Ten of Wands in the recent past. The World, the Ace of Wands, the Three of Cups. There is somebody here. There is somebody that your heart is tied up to. You're not wanting to show me who it is. Because you're showing me as casual, you know, just going out there, having fun. Mm -hmm. There's somebody here. Who is it? Uh, it's irrelevant. That's why it's not coming up for me. Because the point was you in all of this. And I feel like you have grown to that place of independence, of freedom, of whatever you wanted to achieve for yourself. And there's more to work on that, sure. But at some point, I see you kind of... Okay, I'm done here. Um, I need to focus on getting someone back. That's the way it looks here. Or not even that, but bringing that love feeling into your life, back into your life. It doesn't have to be tied up to a specific person. It's just the, the feeling of it, you know? Um, let's do the star in the current situation. Strength card, Page of Wands, Two of Cups. Something is coming to fruition here. Either you're getting more and more clear about what you would like in regards to love, uh, or there is somebody showing up specifically to show you what you would like in regards to love. Um, for the most part, it seems like it's it's coming in as an energy of more clarity on your part rather than a person showing up and blowing you away, you know? Um, like, clarity is coming in a lot in regards to love for you. Let's do the Queen of Cups in the current situation. Do not take things off. King of Cups, King of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. There is somebody here, Saji. Feels like it's a new energy. They got love, they got stability, they got everything you're looking for because that's what you created for yourself and you're attracting the, the exact same thing, basically. That's how these things happen. And it's so freaking happy and it brings you into such a balanced place, it's not even funny here. You know, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Let's go to the world card. Let's see what's up with this one. Ten of Swords, King of Swords, the Hangman. Sadly, we need to talk. Um...
you back away from this. I see this energy rushing in. I see everything being perfect for like a day or two. And then you're like nothing. You're shutting yourself down to this completely in terms of I'm not even going to participate in this because it doesn't make sense because it's going to end one day and that's that. Okay, but like, doesn't it feel good? Because it feels good for me watching this and experiencing this energy. Um, and why would you let your fear win? Who says it's going to end one day and who says when that day is going to be if it's going to be? You know? Or why live in that day? Instead of living in the moment. That's what's... Um... But it could be that actually this energy of stagnation is coming to an end. You know, where you may have thought in that way for a very long time. In terms of, yeah, everything's going to be ending anyway, so why would I bother? Uh, I see that kind of attitude. Uh, with the world card, there is a big possibility that this energy is going out the window. And is being replaced by, huh, this feels good. Uh, this love situation that's showing up. You know? But I do see this as a danger, dangerous kind of pattern of yours. Um, you know, of giving up because it's going to end one day eventually. Okay, but if you would live in the moment, that one day eventually wouldn't exist. You know, uh, you wouldn't have to live in there. Because you're forgetting to live here, basically, right? Uh, let's do the moon in the immediate future. Knight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this is this is an issue here. And it's showing back up for you. Uh, the good part is, is that you're seeing it now. You're observing it. You're catching it before it gets you into that place of, mm, I'm not going to do anything anymore. Um, it's kind of coming in subtle, this fear. This fear of loss. Um, whatever it is that you've got going on here that doesn't let you proceed with things, which is a fear. Um, and I feel like you're kind of catching it here. It's kind of like it takes practice, which, you know, I wouldn't wish upon you situations in which you would need to practice this, but, um, it's kind of coming in with that energy. Let's do the seven of pentacles in the immediate future. Knight of Cups, the Star, the Hermit. Yeah, things are working out here. I don't know what's tying up in the current situation. I do see something beautiful coming into fruition. And then your own fears kind of, you're, you're, you're seeing them, but you're like, do not interfere with what I got going on here, you know, kind of thing. And then they keep on wanting to come back. And then you keep on being like, nope. Because um, I see you working things out here in a good direction. The more you stay tuned in to yourself, to how you feel, to the present moment, that this is the, the energy that's being created, this beautiful energy of love and of in the moment. Let's see what the universe has. You're back. Not really. Well, do not dare to jump through there because you're going to scare the shit out of me. Five of Cups, Four of Swords, Knight of Swords. Okay, so currently you're healing things of the past. I see you looking at the past and healing something that pertains to the past. And it could be, could be this. This always belongs to the past. We just have the tendency to bring it into the current situation or even more place it into the future. Fear of loss, fear of things not happening, fear of somebody leaving us. And I see you looking back and healing something from your past. And there's a, there's a lot of determination on your part in regards to this healing. Heal your ways, heal whatever. Uh, but that's it. That's what I have for you, Saji. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time.